Hi everyone, it's Vicky from createafashionbrand.com, fashionservicesfromcom.com, and I got an email today from Kate in Liverpool. Everyone sends me emails, which is quite nice. It's a good thing. Uh, you know, it's nice to get some comments on the videos, but at least you guys are reading the emails every week, which is good. If you're not on my email list, why not? Like, why not? Um, I'm just joking. There's uh, information uh, in the description box and at the end of the video for how to get on my newsletter. Um, it gives you, in, you know, more stuff, basically. Um, you won't get that on my blog posts or on the videos. It's just for the people on my email list. So make sure you do sign up to that. Um, but Kate talks about her business. She's already started. She's been up and running for 18 months. And she asked very specifically, what are the three things that will improve my sales? Okay, so if you are a regular watcher of my videos, um, you will know that customer profile, I bang on about them so much. Uh, that is definitely the first thing. Now, the reason that I do talk about them so very much is that you are building a brand, you're building a business, but you're trying to sell products, essentially. Now, if you try and sell that product to someone who just doesn't like them, you're wasting your time. It's just not going to work. You're not going to persuade them. You're not going to convince them. You're wasting your time and your resources. So the idea of the customer profile is to understand what you're trying to sell. Match that to a, a type of person, a, a group of people that will just love your products, not just buy them, but really love them, really appreciate them, really get something from them. Um, and that's not trying to be smarmy or you're not trying to badger people for sales. It's basically offering the right product to the right people. And you only do that by getting to know them. Your sales could be, um, or lack of sales could be something really simple as price. It could literally be um, the fact that they just don't like the colors that, that you're offering. They might want a really funky print or they don't like the prints. They want something black or, or they might want it five pounds cheaper. Um, it could be something really, really simple. You're only going to find that out when you get to know your customers. So it's really important to, to do that profile. The second thing I would say um, it's probably your brand values. When you found your group of people and you research them and you're you're attracting them to come and shop with you, whether that's a website or shop or well, lucky you shop, um, when they then they arrive there, when they get to the front door or the home page, you want them to know because it takes five seconds for a person to make a decision. You need them to know within five seconds that that is the place for them. That is a great place for them to shop. It's definitely what they want. It's all the stuff that they need. They're going to love it. That can really be as simple as the colors that you use on your website, the size of the font, um, what you stand for, how you present your products. Um, there's quite a lot around that. So that's quite in depth. So I might have to make a few more videos on that, I think. Um, but definitely a really clear brand image that you can show to your customers the minute they land on any web page of yours um, or in any shop. Now the last thing's a little bit abstract, but it's something that I think younger people specifically have kind of forgotten about. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of an explanation. The third one's going to be customer service. When I was young, many years ago now, um, most shops that you worked in, you know, when you were a kid, you had a part-time job when you were at school, um, most shops would train you in customer service, how to greet people, how to speak to people, um, the kind of way that you were supposed to act and behave and the right things to say and have you seen this, sir? And, do you open the door? Would you ask someone within a few minutes of coming to the shop if they need any help or they don't, you back off? Or So whatever it was, the brand that you worked for would tell you how they wanted you to treat their customers. And they knew because they had a customer profile, obviously. Um, but they would train you, physically train you. 
since websites and websites, you know, everybody is selling online now, but since everything has moved online, people have suddenly thought that customer service doesn't matter anymore, um, which worries me a little bit because you have to think about your website just being an online version of a physical shop. People still come to you, they still spend their money with you, they still want an experience when they come and shop with you, they still want the particular products that they buy with you. So why do people think that customer service is not important? Now, Kate, that's not something specific just for you, that's for any kind of industry website I have seen. Some of them have such bad customer service, you can't contact them. Google is awful. If you've ever tried to contact Google for something, try and look for a contact piece of information. It doesn't exist, trust me. Their links are broken, interesting for a website company. Um, they, you just can't, it's, it's practically impossible. So you need to make sure that people can find you and connect with you first. You also need to make sure you get back to them really quickly. How can you solve any issues if they want to return things or it's not the right size or something happened with their order? How do you respond? Are your emails set up so that it says something nice um, or something helpful for them so they actually know what's going on? Customer service is really, really important. It makes the difference between a customer coming to you and, and handing over the cash, regardless of the products, they're handing over the money to you. If they don't like the customer service they get, or things just are a little bit too difficult, or a bit annoying, they're gonna go somewhere else, because there are, there are plenty of places they can go. So customer service to me is another really, really big, important part of your sales. Um, if you can get that right, I promise you, people might even put up with mistakes or put up with issues with the company just because you or the comp or your brand have treated them really well. Um, people are much more likely to do that when they when they kind of love you a bit. Um, so those are my three: uh, customer profile, brand image, and uh, customer service. And if you want to ask me a question or you want me to record a little video for you, don't forget to get on my email list. Everyone seems to email me. Um, and also you can comment on our main five minute fashion brand video. You can't miss it. Big yellow, a uh, big blue box, yellow writing, five minute fashion brand. There is a, a image you can click at the end of this video so you don't even have to look for it. And also, if you liked the information that we've got on here, please like the video, please share it if you think it was helpful, and don't forget to follow me so you don't miss out on any more great information for your fashion brand or your clothing line. And um, hopefully, if you've signed up uh, to the newsletter, you'll be hearing from me in a couple of hours, and I will look forward to seeing you next week, possibly with some new glasses. So I'll just leave it there for now.